Okay, uh, Patrick and Sarah wanted ganglia tartar. So, um, ganglias are nerve cells, and in the case of the Kelpians, you know the deal with, with the Baharai and so on. I shouldn't tell Duck I made this, and they have a very lot of fun in the Mirror Universe, so yeah. This is my attempt, and now I'll show you how to make it. So, okay, the first thing we have here are some beautiful shrimp. So with the end part of the ganglia, uh, I'll take some beautiful shrimp, already shelled, deveined and a little bit blanched. When working with seafood, fresh is always the best option. And this time I got my shrimp from a local fishmonger. And now you will mince your shrimp into a little pasty oblivion. Really go in there, make it a little bit like a paste, a little bit chunky, until you end up with something like this. So put it in a bowl, wipe off your chopping board and then we can go on with the next part. Which is roughly 100 grams of sushi grade salmon. A cold smoked salmon would be also okay. First cut slivers with a quarter of an inch. Then bunch it up and cut a little cubes out of it, also a quarter of an inch. Then give it a rough chop and put it into the bowl to our shrimp mixture. So then finely dice a shallot. Now for a little bit of acidity we mince roughly 50 grams of pink sushi ginger. Normal ginger, normal sushi ginger would be also okay. Uh, this is the only form of acidity we put in yet. Do not, and I repeat, do not use any kind of lemon juice or something else. So mix well until evenly combined. Taste it and give it a few shakes of salt and black pepper to your liking. So now, grab your favorite ring mold and put it on your favorite plate and start filling it up. So three quarters would be ideal and press it down occasionally so it gets a little bit more structure and won't fall apart when you take the ring mold off. And then top it off and fill it up to the brim with a nice dollop of sour cream. And now put it in the refrigerator for one hour or until ready to serve. So now for a little bit extra and for the garnish. We have here a finger lime. Why is it called a finger lime? Because obviously it looks like a finger. But it has another name. It's called caviar lime. Then as you can see, it looks like little caviar balls. They are multiple colored and every color has its own distinctive flavor. So find out which one is perfect for you. For me and this recipe, I'll take the red ones. So now take the ring mold of your tartar and it perfectly holds its shape. Then very, very carefully arrange a line of this red lime caviar on top and add some dill for garnish. And ready is our ganglia tartar. And try to get a little bit of everything. It's fantastic. The caviar limes, they produce a little buzz in your mouth when they pop. The shrimp, the salmon, the ginger, a slightly hint of the shallot in the background, really amazing.